Hello, I am so excited you're here to pack with me. In this video, I will be packing only a carry-on for a 12-day trip to Northern California to see family. As a serial overpacker, I am really working on reducing the items I think I need and learning to live with less, at least while I'm away. Personally, I find it easiest to start with packing my toiletries. In the past, I used a lot of 3 ounce travel containers, but I found that I was bringing way more of each item than I really needed and I didn't have enough space for all of the individual items I wanted to bring. I recently found that using smaller containers works a lot better for me. It allowed me to bring a small amount of a larger variety of items. I make a point to use refillable containers for a few different reasons. First, they tend to make smaller refillable containers, whereas travel size items tend to be a little larger. Additionally, it is significantly more cost effective to refill with your own standard size products than it is to buy travel sizes of those same products. Finally, it is more sustainable to refill than it is to buy more plastic. After I filled all of my refillable travel containers, I also grabbed travel size products to fill in any missing spots. Basically, just items that need to stay sterile or are an aerosol or a spray. Once we've gathered all liquids, I make sure to put them in TSA-approved quart-sized bags so we won't have any issues getting through security. Thankfully, I was traveling with my significantly lower maintenance husband, and he allows me to put some of my products in his bag. We pack the majority of our toiletries in a hanging toiletry bag, which is perfect for not taking up a lot of counter space while traveling. I pack my non-liquid makeup in this bag I got for my wedding. Between that and the makeup in my liquid bag, I brought primer, powder, blush, an eyelash curler, mascara, a brow pencil, a brow gel, and q-tips. I decided to start packing my luggage with my toiletry bag, my travel pillow for the red eye coming back to New York, and my blow dryer. Unfortunately, I had to rearrange it a bit later. Before deciding on the clothing that I wanted to bring, I thought it was important to check the weather in both places we planned to visit. We needed to pack clothes that would work well for the 100 degree heat. After that, I went to my closet and pulled out some clothes. I wanted to dress pretty casually for the most part, but I also wanted a few dresses so I could dress up a few times. I was careful to bring something pink since we planned to see the Barbie movie on our trip as well. I decided to bring some workout clothes, pajamas, clothes for lounging, three pairs of shorts and some tank tops, a few dresses, a pair of jeans for a chillier day in San Francisco, and a sweater. Over the years, I've tried a few different methods for folding my clothes. This time, I decided to try folding everything using the brick method that I learned from another YouTuber, Ashlyn Eaton. I modified it a bit to more closely fit the size of my packing cubes to save space. As you can see, I made every item about the same shape so that they would fit well together and in my packing cubes with the exception of my sweater, which I couldn't fold any smaller for the life of me. After everything was folded, I put them in my packing cubes. One was for tops and dresses while the other was for shorts. I started using packing cubes a few years ago and I don't think I could ever go back. They make it so easy to organize your items and keep your clothes decently folded. Once I fit my packing cubes full of clothes into my luggage, I added my undergarments and my bathing suit. I once learned that lined bras fit well into the corners of luggage, so I added those too. I added my curling iron, my makeup, and my hairbrush and discovered that it wasn't going to fit with my travel pillow. Luckily, it was pretty easy to remove the travel pillow and carry it onto my flight instead. With the travel pillow removed, it was a lot easier to arrange the items I had already put in and add additional items. With my luggage filled, it was time to start packing my personal item, which is a backpack. I packed my MacBook Air, iPad Air, iPad Mini, a phone stand, my retainer, my ring box, and my noise-canceling headphones. We plan to celebrate both my sister and my brother-in-law's birthdays on the trip, so I also packed the birthday cards that I made for them. Even though I only get one personal item, I always bring a small purse that I'm ready to fit inside my backpack if needed. I also packed up our electronics organizer so that we would have all of the chargers, external chargers, and adapters we would need on the trip. After that, we were off to the airport. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new to help make your packing a little bit easier. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!